All right, this product review is brought to you by the website www.allabouthomeelectronics.com. There's a link right below this video to the website, and today we're going to review the Sony BDV-E390 home theater system in a box. This is a complete home theater system. It is packed, and I mean packed, with a lot of features. If you have never had a home theater system or a surround sound system, you'll enjoy the quality of sound that uh, this brings to your home. If you've had a home theater system or a surround sound system before, you might uh, feel like the sound quality is uh, not exactly where you were expecting it to be. And it's in, in large part because uh, the speakers are small and in my opinion they're low powered and the subwoofer it is not a powered subwoofer so uh, the, the the thumping booms that are necessary in my opinion to get uh, good quality sound out of a surround sound system probably are not going to be there so we're going to take a look at that we're going to take a look at connections on the back but first I'm going to go over all of the features that Sony has packed into this thing because they have packed a tremendous amount in but before we move on Sony has a, a manufacturer's suggested retail price three hundred forty nine dollars ninety nine cents you can pick it up at a local uh, retailer and you can shop for it uh, with authorized retailers online alright here is a list of the features that Sony provides on this home theater system and I'm gonna go over most of them uh, one by one because I think you're going to be surprised like I was on how many features this uh, home theater system includes. We're going to touch on some of the most basic things. For example, this will output uh, t full 1080p. So the uh, HDMI output it does not get better than that. And of course it has a built-in Blu-ray disc player which is Blu-ray discs are high definition. It's a 5.1 system which means you're going to have five speakers and one subwoofer which is appropriate for the Dolby surround sound audio tracks now I'm not going to mention more than it says here a thousand watts because uh, let's move on one of the things that makes this so great in terms of all of the features is that the BDV-E390 has built in Wi-Fi. Uh, with some other systems if you want to connect to the internet and you can only connect using your wireless router you have to purchase a separate Wi-Fi dongle to add to your home theater system but that's not the case with this Sony package it automatically comes built in with Wi-Fi. Now if you happen to have a hardwired Ethernet connection located where you want to consider installing this home theater package my recommendation is you do that we're gonna like take a look uh, in a little bit at the connections on the back side of this home theater system but if you don't have that Ethernet there and you have Wi-Fi in your house you can use that alright the next thing I want to take a look at is that Sony has put together an app that you can download on your smartphone or your tablet and that app is going to allow you to control this Sony home theater system that's really nice that's uh, a nice convenience now one of the things is that this is a 3D compatible home theater uh, blu-ray player and one benefit is that it will up convert your standard 2D content to 3D so that you can see what you're missing if you've never watched a 3D movie but I can tell you from personal experience watching some 3D movies is really incredible now here's one feature that makes setup kind of a snap when we take a look at the connections on the back of the home theater you're gonna see how easy this is to set up but more importantly it does come with a calibration microphone and you simply plug that calibration microphone in and you place the microphone kinda where you're gonna sit and watch movies and television and let the microphone calibrate the settings of your speakers as it relates to the size of room type of flooring height of ceiling and things of that effect now this Sony home theater does come with applications built right in so you're gonna have access to things like Netflix 
through the home th theater system, YouTube, Hulu Plus, and one of my personal favorites, Pandora. This can allow you to customize your own online music stations and then listen to them through your Sony home theater system when you decide. Sony has built in a multi-room capability. Now it doesn't come out of the box with all of the equipment you need to set up other rooms but it is capable of powering other rooms wirelessly so you can purchase some accessories and accessory speakers from Sony that you can add to this system putting speakers in other rooms such as the master bedroom, dining room, office, kitchen, what have you. This way you never really do miss a beat when you're listening to music from one room to another and speaking from experience this would be considered a whole home audio system and this would the setup, the design, the way they've done this makes it really easy to add speakers to other rooms at, at an affordable price, mind you. Now another feature built into this home theater system, if you happen to have a Facebook account, Twitter account, etc., you can share with your friends and your contacts while you're watching content or listening to content through the home theater system you can share you know what you're involved in what you enjoy making comments things of that uh, effect I think that this is another really neat feature you can connect your home theater system to your PC and it's all done wirelessly and this is going to allow you to access not only your music content and videos but your photographs now if you set this home theater up in your living room or den or some large room like that when you have people over and you're entertaining and you want to share pictures no longer does everybody have to gather around a desktop PC or a small tablet or a smartphone device you can project these right up on your flat screen high definition television I want to take a moment and I want to take a look at what comes out of the box when you purchase this Sony home theater system. You're going to get a total of five speakers. You're going to get a front pair. You're going to get the pair that sits behind where you view the television. You're going to get the center speaker. Now this is positioned right below the television and typically the voices in a television program or movie or something to that effect come out of the center channel speaker. You're going to get a subwoofer. Now I see this cable right here and I mentioned earlier this is is not a powered subwoofer. In other words you plug this little wire into the back and again we're going to look at those connections on the back and the subwoofer is getting its power from the actual uh, Blu-ray disc player itself. So the subwoofer is not going to produce the thick, rich, deep bass that really enhances a movie but it's gonna certainly perform better than the speakers on your television now this blu-ray player system does have an FM stereo tuner built in which is nice some of the other competing units don't have that and they give you this antenna right here it comes with a remote control it comes with two AA batteries so you don't have to worry about picking up extra batteries the other thing that I really like about this system is it comes with out of the box an iPod and iPhone dock and then it also comes with a USB cable so you can connect an external device via USB to play mp3s and things of that effect through this system it comes with one uh, video cord which we're gonna look at you get the operating instructions a quick setup guide and the speaker installation guide Anytime I look at a product, I enjoy this part probably the most because, you know, you get excited about a product and then you bring it home and you want to set it up and then all of a sudden it gets really complicated. So when I look at the rear panel on something, it tells me an awful lot about the equipment, how, how it performs, how complicated it's going to be. Sony's done a pretty nice job in making this simple, um, but on the flip side, if I were critical, again the performance of the speakers it's gonna be okay if as I mentioned earlier if you've never had a surround sound system or a home theater this is certainly gonna be better than what you've had before and you're gonna enjoy the enveloping sound of a surround sound system but if you've had a surround sound system before 
uh, the performance from these speakers might not be what you're expecting. So we're going to take a look at number one here. These are the speaker uh, connection points. And Sony's made it super, super easy for anybody to hook up the speakers because on the end of every speaker wire, including the subwoofer, is a special plug. So you just plug uh, the plug right in. For example, the subwoofer plugs in right here. That center channel speaker right here, it's easily labeled. It's really, really easy. Now, number two, this is called a, a digital optical toss link in. What you would want to potentially connect here, if you have uh, cable television in your house or satellite television in your house or U-verse or some other high definition set top box, typically uh, on the back of that box, and not in every case, but in most cases, on the back of that box, if you look at it, you're going to find a toss link audio output. So this is a digital audio connection point. All it is is audio. So you could run a toss link cable and if you don't know what that looks like by all means click on the link uh, directly below this video. It'll take you to our site and you can locate a connection uh, cable toss link that'll show you. So you would want to connect that right here. Now Number three is going to be a video out. Now, don't get too excited about this particular connection because if you have a flat panel television and you utilize this video out, uh, it might be that you have to use this video out to output things like photographs from your PC or photographs from your iPod or iPhone. That I don't know. But <clears throat> when it comes to viewing television or viewing a Blu-ray player, this is the lowest quality video connection possible. You're looking at about 400 lines of resolution when you use a little bit over 400 lines of resolution when you use this particular jack. But that said, you probably want to go ahead and connect it right out of the box. It's just a cable, uh, one little cable plugs in here. There's a uh, matching input on the back of virtually every television out there, old and new. So number four is HDMI. This is the where all the magic happens. You're probably familiar with HDMI. Uh, it's the high definition multimedia input and it's just one cable. You have to buy that separate. It doesn't come with this package. And generally speaking, you can you you are okay purchasing any price point of HDMI cable. If if your cable run, if your HDMI cable run is going to be like really long, um, then I recommend you start focusing on a higher quality cable and, and price tends to relate to a higher quality cable. But if you're going to use an HDMI cable that's three feet long, uh, by all means look at the lower cost ones, save the money and the picture's going to be just fine. It's still going to be 1080p like it was mentioned earlier. And by the way, you plug that HDMI cable into the back of a flat screen television. Now, number five is the hardwired Ethernet connection. As I mentioned earlier, this device comes with built-in Wi-Fi, but if you happen to have a hardwired uh, computer network Ethernet connection point where you're going to install this, by all means, plug this in. Because when you're streaming content from the Internet, the Ethernet is going to pass that data to this Sony home theater system much more quickly and much more stable. And this is important because if your internet service is from your cable company, on the nights and on the weekends that you might want to be streaming content from the internet, let's say uh, a Netflix video or some other type of video, every other person in your neighborhood or in your area who has cable high-speed internet is sharing your exact same bandwidth and that means that the internet, the streaming content from the internet slows down for the whole neighborhood. Well, if you're using Wi-Fi, that slowing down is compounded by the fact that you're using Wi-Fi. Your Wi-Fi router, although it's probably very fast and you're really happy with it, is going to slow that data down even further. That's why I encourage you to use Ethernet. Now, don't let me scare you by saying these things. If you don't have Ethernet, by all means, you know, if this is a device you think you want to get, go shop for it and buy it and use the Wi-Fi, but keep that into account. Now, if you do run into a Wi-Fi speed related problem, there are solutions to it. You can go to our website. There's a link, again, right below the video, 
and search for automation home computer networks and look at some of the options in the drop down menu we discuss some solutions so number six here is just a legacy analog audio input there's the uh, right and the left connection this is the red and white audio cable that surely everybody has seen because they've been around for decades literally and usually we all have a couple of extra cables laying around in the house so in this particular situation you could hook up uh, an external CD player uh, you could hook up your your uh, set-top box from your cable company or you could hook up a gaming station or something that effect if you want to listen to those devices in your home theater system last but not least is that uh, slip on uh, FM stereo tuner connection you literally just pop that wire on and you're good to go I decided to go ahead and put this uh, depiction up because I wanted to talk briefly about if you purchase this for your situation how you might consider uh, installing it of course you can see the television is right here and this uh, depicts where the viewer is and those uh, rear speaker pairs go behind the viewer which means somehow you have to get the wire from that blu-ray player which is right here uh, back around to these speakers uh, and you you know you want to try to do it and conceal the wires if you can but uh, that subwoofer again it pretty much has to sit you know right out here um, actually that's the center speaker it has to sit right adjacent to the uh, blu-ray player because it has a direct wire connection and then these are your uh, front pair so that's a configuration it's actually really super easy to set up so that concludes the review of the Sony BDV-E390. Again, the MSRP on it is $349.99. Head on over to Google or your favorite search engine. Do a Google search if you want to try to shop for it online or locate a local retailer. Please subscribe to our channel. You'll get future reviews and how-to videos and tips and things of that effect. If you haven't already, there's a link right below the video. Visit our site or like us on our Facebook fan page. Hey, thanks for watching and have a great day.